Hey guys, welcome back. Abby and I are out here checking on the animals. Um, we stopped by the emu pen to make sure they had feed because they were all gathered up at the corner. Um, they were a little bit hungry. They got fed earlier, but more just excited to see who was coming outside. There's Zippy. They're so funny and so curious. But I had a bit of a problem. I went in there to decorate Abby's cake and realized that the layers were very flat and not near tall enough. So I decided to go ahead and quickly make another layer for the cake. So I did that. It's cooling right now. Um, and I've got to go decorate it in a few minutes. But in the meantime, I figured we'd come out and check on everything and make sure everybody's good on food and water and take you along with us. So Betty and Hulk are doing well. Um, I guess Izzy spilled some feed on the ground when she was throwing out feed earlier. So they've cleaned up what was in their trough and now they are cleaning up the ground. What are we doing guys? Hey Betty, hey Hulk. Hey buddy. Hulk is so friendly. You, you like scratches, don't you, buddy? Yeah. Right behind the ears. No, he's just trying to eat. Hey, Spice. Hi, sweet girl. She's really loving it. Yeah. It's amazing how she was so skittish and now she's so friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, sweet girl. Hi, sweet girl. She is so soft. Yeah. And this is pancakes, right? I didn't get you get you in the video last time. Hi, pancakes. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, baby. And this little girl has not always been this friendly. She's decided here recently that she really likes scratches, so I like that. Hi, baby girl. I've only got one free hand right now. Yeah. And pancakes so sweet. And spice. We have. <laughs> Still working on Penelope over there. Waffles. Our white horse. Oh no, Waffles is very friendly. Hi, hi Penelope. He's so yeah, she turned her back on me as soon as I said her name. <laughs> she is not interested in scratches today. Oh, there's Hulk again. Just checking on all you guys. Just making sure everybody's good. And we have Sheepy way, way back there. Yeah, Sheepy was hanging out. Hey, everybody! Short stack, kill me. Short stack, you just, you chilling? We all chilling? Everybody looks good out here. Everybody's happy. That's the main thing. Spice is just super lovey today. Short stack is working on eating. That's what he's focused on. Looky out there. What? Look out there. Who is that? Is that Comet? Comet. We should name him Rolly Poly. Daisy! Should name him Rolly Poly. That's funny. This is Daisy, my donkey. Oh, Daisy's yours now? Oh, yeah. Oh. I didn't know she was yours. Yeah. Waffles! Hi, buddy! And we have diamond. Come here, baby. You can see me? <gasps> There's Short Stack. That is Abby's donkey that she picked out. She's had him almost a year now. Oh, look who else is getting jealous. Abby's over here petting another animal and it's not Richard. Oh, the injustice. Oh, you're so Isn't that right? 
Yeah. He's one of our rescue cats. These are our rescue cats. Hey, Diamond. <laughs> so I'm about to have to go back in and check on the new layer that I just finished baking. Go ahead and transfer it to a wire rack so it can cool a little bit faster. And I'll catch back up with you in a few minutes whenever I start decorating it. So I am back in the kitchen now. It, as you can see out the window, it is kind of dark. It is like seven o'clock. I just looked at the time and I'm finally ready to start working on the decorations on this cake. Uh, let me show you what I've got so far and I'll walk you through it as I do it. I've kind of got a picture for inspiration and kind of some other ideas for it too. So um, I just figured I'd show you what I'm doing. Okay, so here's what I've done so far. I, I went ahead and made that third layer. So I stacked my, I, well, I leveled the cakes and then I stacked them with a thin layer of icing in between. And then I took brown, since our horse is gonna be brown, and I covered the entire thing and smoothed it all out. Um, this horse is going to have a white strip like down where the face would be. And I used modeling chocolate for right here for the, for like the nose area and all that. Um, I have made eyes out of modeling chocolate as well. Let me show you that. I have made these and I'm going to also, um, put some white in them so that it'll, they'll look really, really cute and kind of sparkly. But fixing to get started on this and you can watch me work. Okay. So I've got to turn it toward me for this part, but I'm going to put the eyeballs on now. I'm actually going to use a dab of icing to make sure that they stick really well. There's one eye. And two eyes. And as you can tell, Abby is very, very excited about this cake. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the eyes, I think. And give our horse a little bit of some little eyelashes here to the side. I'm using a buttercream for this project because we tend to like buttercream a whole lot more than we like anything else. All right. And see what I've done so far. Now for my white specks in the eyes. Um, my picture shows a big white one here. A little white sparkle here. a toothpick I'll use the other end of it to just kind of smooth down the points let's see okay there's the eyes I think it actually looks like something now a little bit and let me see what I want to do now I think Okay, so here's my ears. <laughs> I made them out of modeling chocolate as well. I've just got to figure out the best placement for them. Here, I think. A little far away from each other, because it is a horse. Okay. 
Now, when I'm working with stuff, I like to do my first swirl like on a piece of parchment or something. If I'm using some sort of, if that's my technique that I'm using, just so I can make sure there's not a big mess when I get going. Um, little swirl here, little swirl here, and then I'm going to kind of make some swirls. They're not all going to touch, but that's okay because our horse is going to have roses in her mane. I say her because it is for Abby and I'm sure she would want a girl horse. Hoping I don't wind up having to make more buttercream, but that's always a possibility too. But I do have a little bit left over, but we'll just see how things go. I made up all this earlier. I had a couple of problems with it because at first I made some and my butter kind of separated. Oh, this is running a little bit on the side. I need to firm the buttercream up a little bit, I think. Technique on this is super simplistic because I'm not I'm not a pro by any means, but I feel like I do decent. You know, it's running a little bit on the back. I'm not a big fan of that issue right now, but maybe I can salvage that and fix it a little bit with some pink some help from the pink here let's see so right now I'm basically just kind of going around throwing some pink in different places so these places where my brown decided to act up She is going to have a lot of roses in her hair. <laughs> Mane, whatever it is. And I also, when I get all the brown done, I have green made up so that I can put leaves on it as well. used up my pink for right now. Oh no. Just make it a part of this little rose and move on. Okay. There we go. I think what happened is my frosting is getting a little warm from just me working it with my hands. So that's why I'm having, I was having a little bit of issue with it. Okay. Now I'm going to switch out tips on the white. And I think to be able to save, save things a little bit, okay. I'm going to add some white ones. So far, so good, I think. I just really need some more brown for the back of the head. Uh, 
them. That's what it looks like at this point. Back and sides, I guess, is what I'm gonna have to work on because I still got some work on that other side that needs done too. Not a whole lot though. We are almost done with the brown. kind of working quickly and some of my spirals may not look as pretty but I think they'll be just fine especially when I add my leaves maybe a few more white flowers too I'm going to go back on these bare spots now. I have a few of them. I've got more white than I've got brown, so... For some reason my brown wound up super runny. Second set wasn't so bad, but... I'm going to be down to the wire on this icing, but I think I'm going to have enough. That's always a good feeling. Try to squeeze just a little bit more out of this brown. Am not I have not done leaves before so we are gonna try this and see not too bad I need a little bit of work. There we go. I'm getting the technique though. I just like the way they look because they're really cute. I remember my mom used to work a little bit with these but I never could figure it out and when I was a kid I didn't have a whole lot of interest in cake decorating it's funny how things change when you become a parent though okay so here is the finished product look at all those that main flowers in the hair, the ears, eyes, face. I think it turned out pretty cute. Abs, come here. We still have to get somebody's approval though since it is her birthday. I love you! <laughs> you like it? Yes! Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> so you, you approve? Yes. All right. You heard it. So I guess I am finished with this project. I, love it. I think it turned out pretty good though. I really do. And she's happy with it, so that's what matters. So now it's time to clean up. I need to cover the cake and stick it in the fridge so that we can have it tomorrow because tomorrow is Abby's actual birthday and she's going to be 10. Um, Izzy has been hard at work making birthday presents today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Grounds Family Farm.
Bye, guys.